Okay, so this will be the last thing. So we'll go to our six-dimensional cube. Okay, we can't, we didn't even talk about the five-dimensional one, but we're going to assume these numbers are right. Yeah. Okay. So the six-dimensional cube is going to have how many corners? Well, it's going, it, but it's going to have 64. 64 Just corners. Because the double. Okay, because the corner is double. How many edges is it going to have? It's going to have one. It's going to have 192 edges. Why? It's 80. 80 times 2 plus 32. Okay, why do I do the edges times 2? Because each ed each edge edge creates two edges. In the next dimension. Yeah. And then your corners create another edge in the next dimension. So that's 192 edges. How many faces and is it going to have? The next, the next, it would be 240 faces. Wow. What? 240 faces. How many solids, how many three-dimensional solids is a six-dimensional cube going to have? Well, it let your, should, let your, let I think it's going to have 100. Why? Because 80, it's going to have 80 plus 20. Because no, that's that that's an that's eighty. Oh. Yeah, sorry, it's my bad handwriting. So that nope, that would be one sixty. One hundred and sixty cubes inside of it. And then. Okay, how many? These are four dimensional volumes. So, so this one should have sixty. Sixty four dimensional volumes. Sixty hyper volumes. Okay, so five volume. If I, if I extended his chart this way, it'd be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, right? The hyper, hyper cube would be the first one that had five dimensional volumes. Yeah. So, how many five dimensional volumes would the six dimensional cube have? It would have, well, it would have 12. Oh, 12. Wow. Yowza! And how many six dimensional volumes would it have? It would have just one. One. Wow! So, that's what a six dimensional. So even though that is very difficult to visualize, yeah. right? If I said um, to you, I want you to go in the living room and you can't come out until you have a six-dimensional cube visualized, that'd be hard, right? Yeah. yeah. But now you know what it looks like. It has 64 corners, 192 edges, 240 faces, so 240 squares, 160 cubes, 60 hypercubes. So this might take a while to make, right? Yeah. 12 five dimensional mm -hmm. little solved volume sides. Those are like the, those are the equivalent to the sides of the cube or the pyramids that you were just looking at. In the hypercube, we had those eight pyramids. Yeah. Or sorry, it was really six. what you, you were thinking of it as six pyramids plus the um, top and the bottom. Yeah. And really, those are all cubes when you make it correctly. Yeah. Okay. So there we go. So we saw some patterns in this chart. And now, any dimension I gave you, you could figure out. If I said figure out what, what a 12-dimensional cube is going to look like, you could actually just continue on this chart. Yeah. That'd be pretty neat, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Good job, guys. That was a tough project. But that uh, teaches you a little bit about higher dimensions. Yeah. All right. Good job.